Good morning, everybody. Hello. Here we are in Cincinnati, Ohio. Yes. Our first stop is what, babe? Well, we're going to go to Skyline Chili. Uh -huh. It's supposed to be a very popular chili on spaghetti, even chili dogs here in uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Mm -hmm. This is what you come to Cincinnati for, is their chili spaghetti, huh, babe? That's right. They have several locations. Mm -hmm. We're, off, we're uh, at the one off Ludlow. Yes. But we'll put all the addresses in the uh, video description below. We will. Let's go eat some chili. Babe. Oh, before that, let, oh, yeah. let's show the drive here mm -hmm. from the airport and some scenic shots. Yeah, it was around 30 minutes from uh, Cincinnati. Right. Cincinnati Airport. Yeah, CVG is the yeah. airport code. Mm -hmm. Okay, babe, here we are. We just landed at Cincinnati Airport, and ironically, it's, you're actually in Kentucky. So yeah. now we're driving to Cincinnati for Ohio. our first stop. In Ohio. Yes. Now we're ready to eat. Let's ready? go eat, babe. We got the chili spaghetti five way, which is, I have my little cheat sheet here, which is um, steaming spaghetti covered with the original secret recipe chili topped with a pound of cheese. We have ours with diced onions and beans. Here we go, look at that cheese. Yeah, now Skyline has been highlighted in a lot of food travel channels. Yes. And look at that. Oh, that's it. It's going to be a bite. Mm. Very meaty. Very meaty chili. Mm, I'm not sure. Mm. I don't know how to explain it. The noodles are cooked perfectly. The cheese is a very light cheese. My chili is not spicy at all. So they give you hot sauce on the side if you would like it. It smells like, it smells like a crystals hot sauce. So it's the vinegar based hot sauce. The meat, it's very smooth. It's weird to say meat is smooth. The seasoning is not a normal like chili seasoning that you're used to. It's a very light seasoning. It's a secret recipe. Babe. Yeah, it is. Really excited. I've seen this on like so many videos before and finally get to try it in person. Very unique chili. Not the chili that typically, typically that you would get at any restaurant, but it has a blend of spices. But like I said, it's not a spicy or hot type of chili. It just, you just taste the spices in it. All this cheese kind of looks outrageous and like over the top and maybe it is maybe it is over the top but it just matches I'm put a little bit of the uh, crystals hot sauce on here there we go a little drizz that really wicks it up now it's a six-way <laughs> Stuff. Here's our order of these little coney dogs. There's their chili cheese dogs with diced onions and mustard in, inside of it. Yep, it's it's called, all underneath. It's, it's called the cheese, cheese coney. Yes. They're so cute. Yeah, I would, I would guess that they're about half the size of a typical hot dog. So in my hand, kind of what it looks like. So let's go for a bite. Everything is like super soft from the buns that are very steamed, hot. The hot dog has no snap to the outer skin to it. Same chili as the one in the spaghetti. Of course, covered with all that cheese. These are like perfect. Oh, cheese. When you first walk in and sit down, they give you these little oyster crackers. 
It might be good if you just order like a bowl of chili mm -hmm. by itself. With the crackers? Mm -hmm. Here is my little hot dog. This is like perfect. I have really small hands, so it's perfect for my hands. Let's try this out. What's interesting is as much cheese as you see, when I took my first bite, it wasn't the cheese. It was actually the mustard, which was what I taste with the first bite. Extremely soft and buttery. You know we love soft buns. It's extremely easy to eat. This is a good little dog. Yes, maybe about a five biter, huh? Mm -hmm. like, what's kind of interesting is that you saw the mounds and mounds of cheese on this food. After all that cheese, we're getting down to the bottom of the, sp the spaghetti and we ran out of cheese. We ran out of cheese. We need more cheese. More cheese, please. Skyline, what you think, that babe? That was pretty good. I mean, something completely different. It so, was. Um, the chili was good. It was a different chili than what we're used to, but it was a good chili. You gotta just come here and try it because it's kind of hard to explain. It'd be interesting to try it like by itself, like yeah. in a bowl. Mm -hmm. and they Maybe have next a, time. Yeah, and they have a, a lot of locations. And so everywhere here in Cincinnati is a lot. You can find one. Yes, and now we're going to go check out this uh, museum. Mm -hmm. Hopefully it's open. Yeah, yeah, let's go check it out. All right, let's go. Only about a five-minute drive from yeah. Skyline mm -hmm. is the American Sign Museum. This is, like, so cool. You come in, you go down the street because it's, like, in an industrial area, and mm -hmm. you see all these giant signs right, right. on the street. So cool. and then and then you have an inside museum which we're gonna go to. Yeah, these are like uh, old neon signs, mm -hmm. like Americana. Yep. Classic. It is. It is, and it's starting to sprinkle. So we're, yeah. let's go hurry up and get inside, baby. We'll get some shots. Okay. That's the smallest holiday inn sign I've seen. <laughs> Super cool museum here. Yeah, it's fifteen dollars to come in. There's no reservations needed. It's a small museum, but coolest signs. You can take all the pictures you want, but with your phone or tablet or something, no detachable lens or no detachable. Uh, cameras. Yeah. yeah, like big SLRs. Yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, stuff like that. It kind of reminds me of the Neon Museum in Vegas. It does, but in a much smaller scale, and it's indoor as opposed to a lot of the Neon Museum is outdoor. That's true. Mm -hmm. That's true. Yeah, we're, we still haven't seen it all yet. Nope, we're going around. A little wrap up of the uh, American sign. That was really cool. It was a small museum, really cool, cool museum. Lots of old history, you can tell, huh, baby? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's uh, definitely old Americana. Yes. From yes. early 1900s all the way till present. Mm -hmm. And what's really cool as well is they have a, um, what is it, like a place where they do the museum in here? Oh. Like a shop. Yeah, there's right? actually museum a neon shop. Yeah, neon shop where they repair or make new signs. Mm -hmm. And it's just right inside. You can see that they were working on some new signs in there as well. Mm -hmm. um, but everybody is not working today since it's a Saturday. Right. But you you can see it's it's alive yeah. and well. It it's, is a working shop. It's a working shop. Yeah, uh, definitely worth checking out if you're yeah. in the Cincinnati area. And again, it's only 15 bucks to get in. Yes, so it's and it's it. raining pretty good now. Yeah, so, so let's get in the car. Let's go. Our second and last stop. Yes, is the Elsinore Arc. Yep. Arch or Arch. arch. Or the arch. Elsinore Castle. Yeah, it's kind of cool. It's right really there. small. It's a castle like in the middle of the city. Yeah, it 
there is a marking that says 1883. Yeah. So maybe just it was part of a much larger castle. Maybe. But yeah. this is all that's left, mm -hmm. and some stairs, which which I'll show you in a second. Mm -hmm. it, it's pretty cool. I don't. You can't go in, but it's a really neat sight to see, especially because it's in the <laughs> middle of the city. It's weird. You can walk through it in about 0.5 seconds. Yeah, you can maybe. Let's do it. Here are the stairs right here, right next to the arch. Yes. Uh, I, maybe it was part of the old one. I don't know. They look old though. So to get an idea where this uh, front face of the castle is, there's downtown Cincinnati in the distance. You know what would be really cool is if you're going to have a wedding and you know everybody takes photos before their wedding, is to have this castle and that walkway. Yeah, right that's where that. we were. Yeah. It's a pretty cool shot right there. Remember how I said it only takes like a half a second to walk through? This is the width of the castle. Made it to Eli's Barbecue. Mm -hmm. I think we should definitely end this day with some Cincinnati barbecue. Yep, yeah, we are. Uh, found this place on Yelp. It had the highest number and the highest rated barbecue. So we figured, hey. Let's try it out. Yeah, let's do it. the two bone but they give us three bones with their mashed potatoes and their baked beans these bones look delicious yeah dry rub all the way huh? Hot dry rub they yeah. do give you some sauce and some slaw this is their mashed potatoes look at that it's almost like a looks like a, they really toast it on one side it's still soft it's yeah. pretty cool and their beans oh yeah so it excited to try this one out. Looks good. We ordered their pulled pork sandwich. Look at this monster of a sandwich right here. They didn't go cheap on the pulled pork, that's for sure. And the, the bun is nice and toasted with butter. You can see it. Even a little butter on my, on my fingers already. And like the other, like the meal, it comes with a little side of coleslaw as well as their barbecue sauce. So we're gonna pour everything on top of this one. We're gonna do a proper build on this pulled pork sandwich. I tasted their homemade barbecue sauce. It's a little bit on the sweet side, so it's really good. So here we go. Let's get some of this barbecue sauce all over that pulled pork. Look at that. Perfect, right there. And we're gonna to top that with the slaw. Right there. Now, how does that look? It's good to me. Now it's time for the taste test. Now, I don't know if this is the proper way for a Cincinnati barbecue to build up their pork sandwich. But, but it looks good. Yeah, but we like it like this. Look how that meat, babe. It falls it out. Here we go. It's going to be a messy bite. Let me just put it out there. This is the best pulled pork sandwich I've ever had. What? Here in Cincinnati at Eli's Bakery. Or at bakery. bakery. See, I'm all dizzy. <laughs> at Eli's Barbecue. Pulled pork sandwich. Build it like this with their homemade barbecue sauce. Top it off with their coleslaw. It's perfection. They put this uh, pulled pork on like a hot, hot plate, hot griddle. Crisp up the edges nicely. It's still nice and moist. And when you bite into it, it has full pork barbecue flavor, smokiness. Exceptional. Highly recommend wow. this one all the way. This looks so amazing. This mashed potatoes. I asked the person who I ordered with, what should I get as size? And she says you have to get the mashed potatoes. So let's try these mashed potatoes out. Very buttery and creamy. 
this little cook on the top makes it very um kind of like a hash brownsy which is really good it's not crunchy it's soft but it makes it very hash browns with the really creamy and buttery mashed potatoes and of course pro tip dip it in the beans let's try these out beans are a little bit on the sweet side very tender I don't see any meat in the beans but it's the taste are all there these are good sized ribs see we got the look at all that it's just meat just meat yeah like you mentioned we ordered two bones we ordered the two bones they know how to treat their out-of-town customers they do you know because Bill's wearing his championship uh, sweatshirt. Yep. Go Dodgers. Go Dodgers. Mm. Very tasty. This dry rub. Great seasoning on it. Extremely meaty. A little bit on the dry side. So I want to taste it though without any sauce on it. It's not extremely dry, but it's a little bit on the dry side here. As you can see, it comes easily off the bone. Let's try the little bark on top. Spices. Some brown sugar in there. It's very light brown sugar. So it's not a, a sweet dry rub at all. What's really nice about this dry rub, it's not very overpowering. And we've tasted some rubs that are really overpowering. So this will match that little bit sweet barbecue sauce perfectly. Wow, nice and clean off that bone. What I also like, are these little crunchy bits. You know how you eat at the end of a corn dog, you have that little part that it's at the stick, that little batter bit the, of the, yeah. the uh, batter that's on the stick. That's what it reminds me of, all these little crunchy. It's like, to me, that is like the extra goodness to end your corn dog experience. This is the extra goodness to end my pork rib experience. Those little, crunchy bits right on the bottom. Mm. I'm gonna go straight with the barbecue sauce. I'm kind of like a saucy person, so here we go. Looks really good. Very good with the sauce. Delicious pork rib. Definitely taste the smoke in it. And what's interesting is the dry rub, you can taste some granulated, maybe brown sugar on top of it. So you have that tiny, tiny little bit of a crunch when you bite into it. But match with that barbecue sauce, it's like very, very good. How is it here in Georgia barbecue, mate? You mean do you like Fox Brothers? Yeah. No comment. <laughs> That's gonna be a wrap from Eli's barbecue and this whole day. It was an excellent day, baby. Yeah, we were only here for uh, for well, five hours. hours. For five four. hours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think we did a lot. Mm -hmm. Had some Cincinnati chili. Oh, Thank which you. reminds me, there's a lot of places that have that chili and spaghetti. It's not yeah. only Skyline. Mm -hmm. It just happens to be like a big chain. Mm -hmm. So yes. you could definitely find chili and spaghetti almost anywhere in, in Cincinnati. Yes, and even if we're, when we were driving down the uh, block, there was one called uh, West uh, Washington. Yes. Washington chili, and then pretty sure there's a lot of other ones. You know, not like smaller mom and pop ones, but well, the one we've seen on TV was Skyline, and so we knew kind of where to start, but then if we come back and visit, we know the other places to go. That's right. right? right. This is an excellent trip. A lot of history here, baby, a lot of culture here. A great recon trip, huh, baby? Oh, yeah. 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 So definitely the things we hit up is mm -hmm. probably, if you're only here for one day, Get some uh, chili spaghetti. Yeah. Check out the American Sign Museum. Yes. And get some good old barbecue. Barbecue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Only if you're here for a day or 
a long layover or something, it's perfect. But otherwise, we, if we come back, maybe we have to spend overnight for the city. Huh, yeah, maybe? this barbecue really reminds me of St. Louis style, or I'm sorry, Kansas City style barbecue. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit on the dry rub side and a little bit sweet, and the right. dry rub is a little bit sweet, and the sauce is a little bit sweet. Yeah, so if you're familiar with Kansas City barbecue, that's the way it is right here in Cincinnati. Yeah. Yes, it was very good. Wow, so that's going to wrap it up. Uh, we have some shout-outs. Oh, we do, we do. Uh, Dax, happy birthday. He's turning one. Oh, wow. Uh, Weiss, happy birthday. Ron, happy birthday. Caitlin and Joshua's birthday as well. Uh, thank you for watching Quincy. And Min and Ken, and uh, Kelly, I'm sorry, Min and Kelly, thank you so much for watching. Wow. Hey, happy birthday and thanks for watching everybody. Yep. It was a lot of fun. Yes. Where are we going next? Well, we're going to Atlanta. Yeah. In fact, that's where training. we started from. Yeah. He has training this coming week. Yeah. So but at the end of the week, we're trying to set up another trip. Right. So in the meantime, stay tuned for an, another Atlanta vlog. So it'll be nice and fun. Probably something different, babe. It will be. Yeah. Well, thanks everybody for watching and we'll catch you guys in the next one.